Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a KonMari declutter of my wardrobe. This has been something that's been on my to-do list for probably close to a year. Um, I like to actually do this about once a year, get in there and like clean out my wardrobe, but I haven't done it for a really long time and my wardrobe was starting to become really, really problematic. Uh, I couldn't fit all of my clothes in the wardrobe. I had a whole bunch of clothing that should be hung up but couldn't be hung up because there simply wasn't room in the wardrobes um, and I've been putting this off for a really long time and you know I so we can get shit done so I finally did it. I had to force myself to do it though because I didn't even want to face it. I knew it would take me half the day and I was just like mm, I don't want to do this somebody do it for me set it on fire let's just start over so if you've never heard of KonMari or the KonMari method before um, where have you been uh, essentially it's a method of decluttering where you sort of gather all of one particular thing together and then you sort through it and you declutter it so here I am getting all of my clothing into one pile on my bed and um, now I've got to go through it. Joy. So I really like the KonMari method because it kind of forces you to actually take a look at what you have. Like, and not just, you know, all of your clothes in the wardrobe. It's like all of your shit piled up on top of each other in one spot. And you can really like get a feel for how much crap you have and it puts into perspective how much you've got and you you know you don't need that much like that's a lot of clothing um so essentially you just go through the clothing and if it sparks joy you keep it and if it doesn't you get rid of it So this isn't my first rodeo with KonMari. I did my whole house back in 2016. I made a series out of it on YouTube. Um, and I usually do my wardrobe once a year, but I don't think I've done it since early 2018. So it's, it's built up. Um, and I find if I do it once a year, like my wardrobe is, it's great. It's, I love it. I get in there. I like everything that I've got. I can find stuff to wear. Um, but if I don't do it, it gets to the point where I feel like I have no clothes. Uh, but I do, I have a whole fucking huge pile of them and I just seem to only see the ones that I no longer want to keep. So sometimes I've just got to like get in there and do this clean it out um, I've also done it with uh, my kitchen and the like the linen cabinet and stuff like that I do that about once a year as well because I find there are areas where things just I don't know they're just always disorganized and they annoy me so I just make those parts of my life smaller every year <laughs> so I love the KonMari method and I will say that it's probably the best way of decluttering that I found for myself but also possibly the most difficult because I feel like over the years I've become quite ruthless with it um, and when I'm looking at my clothes uh, sometimes I struggle with the spark joy part because I'll be like oh, I love this but I also have 30 fucking t-shirts like do I need to keep that many? The answer is no. Um, so I kind of, that's where I really struggle. So you'll see here that I'm putting things on coat hangers and most of those things I know I want to keep and I take them off screen and then I put them in the cupboard 
where they're meant to go. Um, some things like coats and hoodies are going on hangers and being hung on the side of my bed. And they're kind of like my maybe pile. They're, they're the ones that I'm struggling with. Usually when I find I'm struggling with something, I set it aside so that I can like come back to it with a bit more of a clear head because I find if I have this giant pile of clothing on my bed and I, I'm sort of struggling to make a decision, it, it's not the right time to even try to make a decision. Like it's the right time to put it aside and keep tackling the fucking mammoth mountain of clothing and then come back to that when more of the work is done and it's a little bit more under control. Oh, this part. I still remember this. This was a struggle for me because I was uh, going through my pants. And look, I mostly just wear jeans or leggings. It's like, you know, comfortable for me. Um, but I have a lot of black milk leggings. Um, and I got to say, like, I love my black milk leggings, but I don't wear them as much. And there are some pairs that I have not worn in years and years and years. And it, I, it was really difficult for me to sort of go through them. And so I just, I folded them all up and I was like, I'll come back to it at the end. I'm going to quit this shit before it falls me out. Dopamine got me feeling like I gotta run. Need another hit or two before I'm having fun. I'm going to quit this shit before it falls me out. I'm going to quit this shit before it falls me Oh, the skirts. Okay, so I picked up all of the skirts to assess the situation and then I had to put them aside because I was like, nope, this is this is too hard. This is too hard to deal with. Let's make the pile on the bed even smaller first. I'm gonna quit this shit before it fucks me up Dopamine got me feeling like I gotta run Need another hit or two before I'm having fun I'm gonna quit this shit before it fucks me up I'm gonna quit this shit before it fucks me up Some of the black milk leggings went back into the wardrobe and another pile stayed behind for me to reassess later now I'm going through like bathers and like little bralettes and um, I've got a whole bunch of like stockings and belts and stuff like that um, so most of the bralettes were purchased uh, new uh, this past Christmas I usually do like a, a bit of a big clothing shop around Christmas time when the sales are on and like clean out a bunch of stuff so I cleaned out a whole bunch of like old bras and stuff and I had new ones so I don't think I got rid of any of them uh, but I did get rid of a bunch of bathers that were just no good oh and there's my bag there's my bag she's pretty full See that? All those black milk pants just went in that bag. It was a pretty good feeling. I let them go. I knew that I wasn't going to wear them, um, but look, that yeah, that was hard for me. I dress like good on you. Wanna love, wanna love you. Wanna 
Oh, the skirts. We're back at the skirts. So I still struggled with this. It was very difficult for me. I kept a lot of my maxi skirts that I really like um, and then just struggled, struggled, struggled with my other skirts. But I ended up getting rid of a whole bunch of them. Was more than friends with you. Gave you everything. You hear my everything. And then I had a pile of clothing that I wanted to try on. So that's what I did and we've cut back to it and I've worked out exactly what I'm keeping. I actually got rid of the majority of the clothing and just kept a few pieces that I still really, really loved. And it's the happy dance. And look, you're not supposed to uh, give the finger to the things that you're conmaring. You're supposed to show appreciation, but you know, this is me. And the wardrobe is looking much better. Uh, one of my goals doing this was to pretty much get those shelves looking neat and tidy again, mission accomplished, but also um, have just enough clothing in my wardrobe that when I pulled something out, it wasn't pulling other clothing along with it. If you know, you know, and it's a goddamn nightmare. And I'm happy to say that I achieved that so well done me so that's it guys I managed to get rid of a garbage bag size bag gut what words Haley a garbage bag full of clothing <laughs> and organize my wardrobe a little bit better when I go in there now I see the stuff that I love and I even found some clothing that had been like folded up and put at the back of the uh, wardrobe that I forgot was there and I couldn't see so you know I found some gems that I completely forgot I even had so it almost feels like a whole new wardrobe to me which is kind of exciting uh, now I just have to keep on top of it and do it once a year like I used to I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do any sort of regular decluttering with any area of your house I know a lot of people do it with their makeup but do you do it with your clothes or something in your kitchen or maybe a linen closet like myself let me know down in the comments and let me know if you follow a particular method for it whether it's KonMari method or something else I hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one bye